we've been following uh, shark activity all summer, and we have another sighting to tell you about. But this one is a little different. Uh, not somebody getting bit. A Long Island, New York resident snapping a photo of a seven-foot-long great white shark that washed ashore. Uh, the shark is not alive anymore. Police say it washed back out to sea before they could secure it. Meanwhile, New York's governor has increased beach patrols. Joining us now to talk about uh, this shark discovery and a spike in shark sightings on Long Island is Frank Quevedo, executive director of the South Fork Natural History Museum Shark Research and Education Program. That is quite the mouthful, but please tell me this great white shark washing up on the beach. I have to ask what I'm sure a lot of people at home are asking. Why do we care about a dead shark? Hi, Adrian. Thanks for having me. No um, problem. We care. We care about a dead shark because um, this particular species utilizes the south shore, south shore of Long Island as a nursery for development purposes. The sharks is, have always been here. It's an apex predator. It's a sub-adult, the one that was found on the beach here in East Quag. Uh, there were reports that a second one may have washed up this morning just to the west of East Quag site. We believe it might be the same shark. We don't know. Mm. Uh, we are hoping that we can collect the shark, we find it again, and do an necropsy on it to find the cause of death. So, so this uh, potentially one or two sharks, um, maybe a six to ten year old shark, according to the notes I have here. But you, your program has tagged over thirty juvenile great whites off the coast of Long Island in recent years. So, when we're describing what's happening off of Long Island, particularly, are we seeing a rise in sightings? We are, and that's a reflection of conservation efforts over the years. Uh, you know, the, the marine ecosystem right now is thriving, and we're seeing an abundance of bait fish, uh, such as the Atlantic menhaden and other species of bait fish that sharks utilize as a food source. Warming temperatures also bring in uh, southern species of sharks into uh, our waters. It's a northerly migration. It's a natural migration of, of animals moving north, and with the influx of abundance of, of bait fish and food source for these sharks. We're going to see a lot more of them. But also it's because of the bill that uh, the governor signed several years ago to protect the Atlantic menhaden from persaining uh, fisheries. And we're seeing an abundance and a resurgence of bunker, which means we're seeing a, a thriving ecosystem. It feeds, the, the fish is the most important fish in the Atlantic Ocean. Mm. It feeds ospreys, bald eagles, sharks, whales, dolphins, seals, and other marine life. So when you have a conservation effort and the protection of this food source, you're gonna see a, a lot more marine activity. Would you tell people in Long Island or, or traveling to Long Island from the city of New York to stay out of the water? I would not. I would say just be more cautious in driving to the beach. You're probably more likely to get into a car accident heading to the beach uh, other than uh, interacting with a shark at the beach when you get there. So just use caution when you're driving and you're more than fine uh, approaching the beach, getting in the water. If the lifeguards close the beach, that's a good thing. It's a, it's a security thing that the beach management team is, is, is allowing the people to stay safe and uh, to let the animals do their thing in the water and then get back in the ocean when, when things are more safe. Safe. All right. So just use caution in life. You know, if you just That's it. be careful when you're driving, be careful when you're swimming, keep your eyes peeled. It's just a good life habit. Uh, Frank Quevedo, Look. thank you so much for being with us. Very informative. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.